Today we're going to be testing a return air sensor on one of our mini split systems. The reason this would be done is a return air sensor is what we use as our thermostat on our systems. If they are reading out of range, it could cause the system to not run when needed or overshoot the space temperature. The first thing you're going to want to do is locate the sensors, where they plug into the board, and unplug them. This particular unit has three sensors on it, a return air sensor, evaporator inlet, and evaporator outlet. All sensors on an indoor unit are 10 kilo ohm sensors, so at 77 degrees, they should be reading 10 kilo ohms. What you're going to want to do is leave the system off, let it come to ambient temperature, and put a thermometer somewhere in the space close to the thermistors so that we know what the temperature is and compare that to our sensor value chart. On this unit here, we're right at about 76.5. So these should be reading somewhere around 10 kilo ohms. You'll want to get your meter and some needle point leads. Go to the plug location and test on the pins. You can see here the two black wires are the two end pins. So from the plug, if you follow these two black wires, they run along the front of the unit here to our return air sensor. You want to take the plug, set our meter to ohms. If your meter doesn't auto select, you're going to want to select kilo ohm. Take your needle point leads, place them on the two silver tabs, and see what your resistance value should be. Here we're reading about 10.56 kilo ohms. You want to compare that to the sensor value chart. These are NTC, negative temperature coefficient sensors, so the colder it is, the higher the resistance value. I said this was a 10 kilo ohm at 77. I would say this sensor is reading well within range.